What's up guys, it's me, Kuski Kid Games, finally back uh, with an episode of Dark Souls. I know uh, I haven't uploaded it in a while, but the holidays have just started, Easter holidays for my school, so I've been chilling. And the weeks before that, um, I can't think of an excuse right now. Now I was sick one week and the other week I just couldn't be bothered. But we're finally back, and this episode just gonna be showing you all the stuff in Majula. Majula? That's Dark Souls 2, Cal. In Firelink Shrine. Uh, basically, the optimal start. Well, first of all, wait a horn. I'm a little rusty, okay? I haven't played in like two weeks. But, you can go pick up these fire bombs right here. So, yeah, this, this episode, this optimal start and then possibly go into Undeadburg. Now this, this is Petri, Petrus, Pet, Petri dish, I don't know. Uh, just listen to his audio real quick. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh my. You again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Just join this guy. We can leave it anyway. I don't think he cares if we leave him, so... Now let me share my miracles. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts. And your faith. Alright, so I um, basically just want the gesture because it's cool. But he sells great heal, homeward for seek guidance, heal, what else? Talisman and Thoral and Talisman. Come again. The effectiveness. Will do, buddy. Alright, well, so that's, that's Petrus. Actually, we can continue on up this way, actually. So, yeah, Petrus is faith vendor or miracle vendor at the start. Don't really know what else you can do with him, really. I haven't ever paid attention to him because he's boring. So, yeah. Except, this is the only cool part about him. This is his secret stash. Four chests. Yay. Red eye orbs for invading. Ooh, maybe he's an invader. Filthy Petrus. Talisman of Morningstar. Homeward Bones. Lloyd's Talismans. Alright, now this part is dangerous. This is a graveyard. This is the way you don't want to go first, but I'm going to just roll down here and peace out. I'm going to go up here. Run around here. Now, yeah, I'm going to be trying to get every item in this series, pretty much, like, that I know of, anyway. Like, I know there's a few that I don't know how to get, like, the Avalon. I have no idea how to get that. But we can just rest here so that the skeletons respawn. So we can, because we're going to go back, go to the graveyard, do what we can there. Get all the items down there. There's one item just around here also. So the lost I'm dead, that'll come in handy. So uh, what I like to do is just hop on down here, try not and fall off like I almost did. Wanna roll on stroll on down here. Oh. 
keep on running through. We're gonna pick up this. What is this? This is Y Hander, okay. Grab the binoculars. Roll. Or we could die, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that area's hard anyway, God. Like, totally not my fault. Alright, we're gonna go pick up our, like, 105 souls, I think it was. And pick up the last item in there, which is, like, a pike or something. It's a spear, I know, that's all I know. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's right here. Winged spear. We're just gonna grab our souls and peace out. Probably should have had a shield, you know? For that exact reason. Okay, maybe shields don't matter. That's another thing. If you have your shield up in this game, right, when you're sprinting and you press B, you jump, right, like that. Well, let me just rest here real quick before I show you. But if you have your shield, you can, if you press B, you roll and you don't jump. So it's good for if you're running through enemies. Oh, wait, Crestfallen. Should probably talk to him. I'll let you guys listen to this. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happens. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> oh, you. I don't know if that's the end of his dialogue yet. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> mm, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I'd never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting thy neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> so he basically just taught you what I was gonna teach you in a second, but... What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might. Regret it. Don't know if that's him finished mm -hmm. yet. What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burrow through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead bird, within the plague-infested Blight Town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Bloody hell, what is it now? You ask too many questions. Yeah, we do. Uh, is that, is that mm -hmm. him? What? I'm not up for chatting. I think that's him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Alright, that's all he's gonna give us. So yeah, about the whole humanity thing, you can just pop one of these. Go to the bonfire here. First hollowing. 
boom, back to human. There we go. Now, you need to be human in order to summon people to help you. Um, but, yeah, also, this chick's here. I think, I think her name's Anastasia, but she cannot speak, so... We will get her speaking later, though. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can just roll on, stroll on down here. This is just to get, like, the perfect start, really. You don't have to do this part, but I would recommend it, actually. I probably shouldn't have restored humanity yet, because I might die. I'm going to put your homeward bones on. Alright, tried to jump there, but whatever. And now, there's an NPC down here, but... Actually, hmm? well, this is he's just a vendor. You haven't lost your head, and more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett Vinheim. I was once an established smith, but look at me now. Can you believe it? Can't believe it, yo. <coughs> hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry, I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in Vinheim. Right, whatever. Don't want to talk to him anymore, but... Yeah, we can buy sorcery off him, actually. This is the earliest point in the game we can get some sorcery. Except, I think it's more expensive if you buy it from him. I'm not sure. But yeah, we can reinforce our weapons, our armor, repair stuff. But, Goodbye. yeah, we don't need to do that right now. We've, like, just started the game. Alright, now, this is where the master key comes in handy, because if you bought it... You can go out here and pick up this. Cross this bridge. Or you could jump over here, but ugh, that's scary. See that thing on the end right there? Yeah. We're going to, we're going to that. Don't worry, we're not gonna kill it because uh, it'll it'll destroy us. So what you want to do with this bit is you want to get behind his head, pick up this item here. Now, this is where the death bit is. I basically have to walk into the middle of that, pick up both of them as fast as possible, and then two rolls back and I'll be safe. Nope, I failed. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't quite, you know, where I wanted to be, but... Oh well. Didn't pick the items up fast enough. But we're going to go back down because there's something else we need there. And I think that was... I think that was many souls. I hope not, anyway. But yeah, try, try not to die there or, you know... You'll, you'll lose your humanity. Be restored like me, being an idiot. But... I should have actually sent this elevator back up. And actually, I'm going to do that this time. So. Get on this. You have to get off the pressure plate for it to go back up. And then, well, go back on it, obviously. Right, so there's a couple more items here. One, there's a weapon, the S-Stock. Yeah, none of these guys attack you, so we're kind of good. There's an item here. Transient Curses. You don't have to pick them up if you're scared of accidentally using them. Because they are very important for this area in the game. Uh, like, later on. So, yeah, I picked them up just because I'm a gangster. So, right, you want to get your homeward bones on the bar and you want to sprint. Watch out for the ghosts. Right, around here. 
This is where I fail trying to show off. Just run straight, you'll knock off their collision. Pick up this and return home. Nice. Right, I, ho I was hoping to get away from the dragon so I could go do that without dying. But now, really, we just need to pop all of our souls. And then we'll level up. I think that might do it for this episode. It's running a little bit long. Pop. Uh, we're going up that way next time. Right behind us. Next episode that leads us into the Berg. And dead Berg. And yeah. I'll explain all that when, when we get to that bit. Is that all? Yeah. <coughs> Alright, so level up. Hmm. Got how many levels have we got? Five levels. So put three in there. Two in there. There we go. Nice. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna do it for this episode. That is the optimal start, getting as many items as you really could need in your adventures. But you know, I, d I died a little bit, and yeah. I'm and finally, hold on, let me show off these weapons here first. So we got the Morning Star, which is it's a mace with spikes on it. I think the battle axe is better anyway. Got a spear. I uh, can't use it properly, but. You know, just a spear. I think all of its attacks are just pokes. So, if you're scared, then you can set, you know, your shield up. That's the thing with spears. You can poke from behind the shield. So, you could, you know, set your shield up and then poke. Except it does less damage behind the shield. Uh, what else have we got? Storage straight. Sorry, we picked up at the dragon along with the dragon crest shield. Pretty, pretty baller, actually. I think I'm going to use that shield. Because it's 100 physical block and it looks balling, so I'm going to use that. Straight sword help, that's from the asylum. The Zwei Hander, for all you giant dads out there. If you're, you'll know what I mean. The folk that, that are giant dads. <coughs> pretty beastly weapon, actually, but it's really heavy, so I don't think I'll be using it. And last of all, the air stock. It's like a rapier. Uh, that little slice, which is actually quite cool. I've never, I've never actually used this weapon before. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll see it. That slice is cool. But uh, we're gonna stick with the battle axe for now because you know it's reliable. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. So thanks very much for watching. No, it's not gonna be the end of the episode yet because I forgot to do one thing with our thing that we picked up, Firekeeper Soul. We can go here, reinforce Estus Flask, and then boom! If you notice down at our Estus, we now have a plus one Estus, which means it heals us more. So we have ten Estus at plus one, and you get um, you get Firekeeper Souls throughout the game. And you can have a, a plus five Estus, I believe, in the end. So, yeah, fun. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'll uh, see you in the next one. If you enjoyed, like, leave a like. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Uh, see you guys later. Peace.